Hello Die Hard Survivor fans! Wasn't tonight's episode 8 of Survivor Philippines exciting? Sitting on the edge of your seat? Thrilling? Dynamic? Yes. I'd say one of the best. I don't know if I'm going to give it the best. But a great show and a great tribal that we'll talk about later. So they're running around the islands and you see Pinner trying to save his life because he knows he's going to be on the chopping block. And they're also throwing Scoobin's name around. Scoobin's sitting a little laid back as usual this season. I don't think he's really had a choice to be honest since RC's gone. Um, I think Scoobin's going to do what Scoobin's got to do. I don't think all of you out there yelling and screaming about Scoobin that you quite know what's going on behind the scenes. Alright, but we got Pinner running around trying to make negotiations. But let's go to the first challenge where it's two teams. One team we got Pete, Artis, Abby, we got Scoobin and Carter. The other team is Denise, um, Lisa, Malcolm, Jeff Kent, and Jonathan Pinner. And let's get right to it. They do the challenge, and if they win, they're going to get the five of them going on this festive getaway and relax a while and eat, eat, eat their heart out. Okay, so the challenge begins, and guess what happens? I'm not going into all of what they do in the challenge. They win. Yeah, Lisa Welchel's team wins. Sorry about that, somebody walked in. Lisa and all of them go on their festive thing and they're throwing around what they think they ought to do in the game and Pinner's all for being with them. He's gonna do and say whatever he has to, but I already knew none of that was gonna go down. Nothing was gonna go down at the little get together and she was feeling, star feeling sorry for that Tan Dang me member scooping and yes, I'm tongue tied and don't give a holy hooly wah, okay? I'm not gonna do the video over again. So we get back to camp, and they're all trolling around with all these ideas. And one, oh, when we get back to camp, Lisa's trying to do some negotiations, and I think she's really trying to save Scoopin, if you want to know the truth. She kind of feels sorry for the guy. I think she's half and half about wanting to be loyal to her tan dang trap, but with the players she's got, nothing seems to work for Lisa. But she goes to Pete and says that Malcolm's got the idol and starts out with we should blindside Malcolm. And what does Petey Pie do? He runs and confronts Malcolm, who plays dumb and acts surprised, which convinces Pete that he doesn't think Malcolm has the idol. Pete, what has Lisa got to gain by telling you that she knows Malcolm has the idol? Let's think about it. I know you set yourself to the side a little bit with Abby and Artist, but what has she got to gain by lying to three of her tribe members at this stage of the game? Well, Lisa told you the truth, and we'll talk about that later. So now it's all out there. Malcolm's upset with Lisa. Lisa finds out that, that now Malcolm knows, and Pete says, that he confronted Malcolm, not quite saying that he threw her name out there when he did. And chaos is sitting on the island, and now all kinds of names are coming up. And then it converts over to Jeff getting votes and or Pete getting votes. So now we've got the votes off of possibly Penner and possibly Scoobin. But the whole time they're walking to the tribal, all kinds of things are going on. I don't think anybody really knows what alliance or gameplay they're going to stick to. That's what I was feeling from the start. But let's go to the challenge. We have a challenge and the flag has to go up. You have to dig a hole, put a key in, do this, do that. Um, no, sorry about that. The flag was in the first challenge. And it gets down to putting the snake together. And Penner wins his first unity. Yada, yada, yada. Penner is a person that's going to have fun. He knows they're still out to get him, and he saved himself for three days. So, I already know Penner's up to something, but I have no idea what until later in the game. Wow, 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 wow. 
and you can just see the dismay on all the tribe members' faces when Penner wins that immunity challenge. And I loved it, didn't you? I love what Penner brings to the game. Somebody keeps walking in, sorry. What Penner brings to the game is that he doesn't give up, but if he knows he's going to fry, he's going to try to fry some, he's going to try to fry some of the other members that have put the screws to him. Way to go, Penner. I like that in a player. If you're going to go down, you're going to go down with a real fierce flash and spark. That's just the way you are. You're going to be mouthy, you're going to tell people what you think, and you're going to fight, fight, fight. I like that about you. So, he wins the immunity necklace. Let's go back to camp. Oh, Lisa's getting told everything, and everything's falling apart. Uh, Malcolm's worried. He's hearing his names on it. Now they're throwing it. So we've had, it's gone from Penner to possibly Scoobin. Now we've got Pete's name flying around. We've got Kent's name flying around, and Malcolm worried. So let's go to Tribal Council. Hmm. Lisa puts it out there. Mm. Lisa puts it out there. She said, uh, makes, you know, she does a strategy about her tan dang trap. Let's do this. We could still do that. When they out her, that she, uh, you know, had put Malcolm out there about the idol. Everybody's going at it. Um, then it gets to a point where if, if you're going to use your immunity idol later in the game, Malcolm pulls his out. Everybody looks around. Malcolm says, and if anybody else has got a night on night, they maybe ought to play it too. And then Abby reaches in her sack and brings out an idol. And then the excitement sets in. Now they all think there's such a disruption going on at Tribal that anybody's name can show up. So you really, I'm, I was feeling like I wasn't sure what was going to go down in this boat. Absolutely. Had no idea. They were all sitting on the edge of their seats. Scoobin was sitting back there just taking it all in quietly. But if you remember when he got asked a question, Scoobin says, all kinds of things are going on, Jeff. All kinds of things are going on with the tribe mates. He doesn't use his words. He's short and sweet and to the point, and as we get into tribal council, we see exactly uh, the hint that Scooby gave merges and comes up, and everybody is just swinging out words. They're all nervous wrecks. Penner's about to fall off the edge of his seat because he knows he's safe, but I'm all excited because I'm feeling that Scooby's not going to have a vote, and then we go, and the vote goes down. Jeff Kent is sent home. He doesn't exit out of this world. That you know, nothing Kent does. He says what he thinks and what he feels, and he's a million dollar baseball player. And a million dollars, he he almost says it like just a million dollars is a trifling uh, number. Well, if you feel that way about a million dollars and all the money you've made and the blessings you've been giving Kent, just send me a million dollars, okay? Thank you. Wow. A million dollars is nothing. I don't care if you've got $550 million. Another million dollars is still a lot of money and can do a lot for a lot of people out here like me and other fans. So send me a million dollars, Jeff Kemp. If not, I'll send you the mortgage on my house and you can pay that off. Since your exit about money just blew everybody's mind. We know you weren't there for the million dollar show you said. You were there for the adventure in the game. Yeah, right. Okay. Wow. The votes go down and Abby gets a vote. I already figured out. I was, people were trying to figure out if Carter did it. I already had it in my head. I thought Penner did it. And you know what? He's one that likes to stick, you know, do something and stick a, stinger up somebody's butt. So he wanted to give that Abby a sting and he gave her one and it's going to be turmoil on the island from that next week for Penner, but he don't care. He knew exactly what he was doing and maybe it'll take some of the riffraff off his butt next week for a bet. 
Um, I'd like to see him stay longer in the next shift. I don't want Pinner to go. I don't want to see Scooby go, Pinner go. I don't want to see Lisa go, and I don't want to see Denise, Denise go. The rest can go as far as I'm concerned, but I do like that Malcolm. So, Pinner's put a stinger in Abby's butt. She's pulled out her idol. Malcolm's pulled out his. And Jeff Kent goes home with quite an exit. It was exciting. And you want to know what an assessment is of everybody? Here's my assessment. Everybody's all stirred up. Lisa can't get anything to go down that she threw out there. First thing, again, I got to say to um, Pete, as I said earlier, she's a little Christian lady. She had nothing to gain by lying to you at this point in the game, telling you that she saw the idol with her own eyes. She told you very straightforward how and why she found out by accident he had it. Why didn't your signals go off? Why would you even not have believed that? I do not know. So it's been exciting what's going to happen. We've got two out at Idols now, and everybody knows about it. Um, we've got Lisa, that I guess they're going to call her the flipping and flopping queen because she kind of really don't have any other thing that she might or might not be able to do. But she genuinely, from her heart, when she's at Tribals, more genuinely than anybody else, throws it out there the way it is. Whether that's a smart gameplay, I'm not going to say, but for her, this season, it might just slide her in to final three. So I'm not going to say anything bad about Lisa. And y'all need to stay off of Scoobin. Scoobin can't come out of the box and be more than what he is with what's going on in this game with all these kinds of players. I don't think that means that Scoobin's not a player. I think somehow Scoobin may surprise us all and slide in under the radar with all of them that are out there doing their wild crazy stuff and go to final three. That's it for my report this week. So, thank you CBS, thank you Mark Burnett for a great show and a great bunch that y'all put on this season's over now. Don't forget, put glow on Survivor.